Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here. I'm back with more Shadow Gun Legends. Are you ready for a skill reset tomorrow? That's the question. Of course, everyone's going to say yes, but are you really ready? Today, I'm going to give you guys a few tips to make sure you're ready for the next skill reset. Update 0.5.0 should go live tomorrow. That's where, what we're expecting. Is it going to go live? I hope so, of course. Fingers crossed. But if we have an update tomorrow, we finally have the option to reset our skill tree and respend our skill points. Now, a lot of players were disappointed with their choices and then they find out some very good skills were available and they don't have access to some of the best skills in the game. Some people missed the supercharger on the agility tree is probably the best skill in the game right now, whether you're doing uh, arenas or dungeons, even some guys in PvP like supercharger. Then we got AM bomb. It's such a great skill for dungeon farming and arena. One of the other great skills would be Stunner. Some guys don't have it. And then that's about it for the most, I think, the most important skills in the game. Stunner, AM Bomb, Supercharger. Definitely the top three skills in the whole thing. Uh, Gunslinger is pretty sick even for uh, Ribbon Farming. But you had to make some very good decision and split your points in combat and agility. If you messed up, you don't have the gunslinger skill and some guys just wait for a skill respec to finally get the gunslinger it used to be such a great skill though it was a hundred percent pistol damage when it came out and then they nerfed it to 50 percent if you guys remember all right so tomorrow is the skill reset a lot of people will do a reset and rearrange the skill tree but are you ready here's a couple tips guys to make sure you're ready for the skill reset uh you need the cash okay we don't know yet exactly how much it's gonna cost, but I'm pretty sure you will have to rebuy all your skills. So that is 18 skill points. So 18 skills you have to go again. And don't forget guys, you have to buy level one, then buy level two, three, four, five to have each skill to max. So quick maths guys, 40,000 credits times 18 is 720,000 credits guys. That is a lot of cash especially our max is 500,000 so you will need 720 or something like that just to rebuy our, all your skills plus you will need more because it costs something apparently to reset okay so how much do you have 500,000 here's what you should do before tomorrow guys if you have some free time today first of all max out your credits okay 500k you should be maxed before your skill reset and then second thing is start farming and max out your inventory but you should be picky okay let's go at big reds and see what we can sell and how much it sells for big red sell look at the armor the green items sell for around 2k 2.160 but the blue items sell for 13 13 9 39 66 13 5 and 14 something for the gloves so it is pretty obvious you get a lot more for blue items so if you have time sell all your green items that you don't want to keep of course and just keep the blues and then keep farming even though you're maxed out on credits it doesn't matter so i got six more spots now and i'm gonna go farm again and just keep the blues or purples and then let's look at the weapons if you sell weapons, even the blues are only worth 9,000 uh, compared to 12 or 14. So if you have a lot of time, you should also sell your blue items. And then I have uh, eight more spots now to, to farm. So I will go farm more dungeons. Then I will come back. I will sell all my greens and I will sell my blue weapons and then I'll go back again. So if you can fill your inventory with just uh all your free spots just blue armor items well go for it and then when you're full you can do it again and full or fill your backpack you got 10 extra slot on top of your inventory for your backpack so if you can do one arena at the end and just get 10 items uh you you can keep them in your backpack even if your inventory is full so if you get like a lot of free spots and you can get all blue items to sell so it's like a second wallet so you get 500,000 credits plus a bunch of extra blue items to sell when you're done spending so you won't have to reset 
buy a couple points and then you'll have to go farming for more credits just because you, you cannot afford to rebuy all your skills. So I really think that's the way to go guys. If you guys want to get ready for a skill reset, just make sure you are ready. Now, the, the, the big question now, what are you guys going to do when you can finally reset your skill tree? What are your plans? I'll tell you what I'm going to do because I already know what I want to do. It, you know I want to be farming legendaries after the, the new update. So my plan is to go for luck of the devil. It's going to give me, I think, an extra 5% loot. Uh, it's 1% on the first level. I'm thinking it's 1% per level. We will see tomorrow. But I will go for Luck of the Devil. But look at the investment. It is 11 points in the Survival Tree. That's going to hurt a lot because most of the skills in Survival Tree are pretty bad. However, I'm going to have the Survival Kit now. So I'll be able to farm these ribbons because I got like two ribbons. I want all the ribbons and medals. So I'll have to work on that anyway sometime, right? Then we get the Emergency Shield. I will also work on that ribbons uh, and metal. That is 10. I'm going to spend 11 anyways, right? So this is my plan for tomorrow. Uh, 11 points in survival and 7 in agility. So I have a pretty good uh, legendary farming build because I still have access to the Aeon Bomb and the Supercharger, which is very good. I will not have the Stunner anymore though, but I will still have the passive skill Grease Lightning. So 10% Sprint. I got the reload speed and I got the movement speed. So it's still a very nice build. I will miss some points on the combat, of course. I won't have sentry gun. I won't have stunner. Uh, there was a couple cool things there that I would probably be missing. But you cannot have everything, right? You have to make decisions in this game. So that is one part of the game that where you actually have to make decisions. So that is my plan for tomorrow. I don't think it's a great idea, but I still want to try it just to see if the extra 5% will make a difference. Because I'm wearing 9% on the shoulders now, and it, I think it makes a bit of a difference. I get more purple, I feel, in the long run compared to when I was not wearing my, my loot shoulders. I was getting a lot of runs with just greens or greens and blues. So uh, guys, that is it for today. Let me know what are you going to do with your skill reset? Are you going to reset? Yes or no? If yes, Tell me what you plan to do because I'm looking for other ideas for other builds maybe in the future. I know a lot of guys will go straight for the full combat tree. Some guys really like to have the biggest crit possible. So there is uh, crit damage here. You need 12 points in combat. It's going to give you an extra 15% crit. So if you're looking for max crit, you should go 12 here. And then spend all the rest in ag agility because on agility, you get 1% extra crit for every point. That could be pretty sick. 15% plus another couple 1% uh, here and there. That is another good idea if you just want to go for super high damage. All right. So if you got anything else, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave the like. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications. Watch my other videos. I'll be back soon. Take care.